Hi, my name is Walt Warner. I'm the urban forester for the city of Santa Monica. The trees in Santa Monica are worth about $138 million. So that would be if we were to just replace the forest itself. But when you start considering all the environmental benefits that the trees produce, the urban forest as a whole is probably worth about $300 million. I'll show you how we came to that figure. There are certain things every city needs. Each represents an investment in the community. We assign a different cost to every item, and the community receives a benefit in return that reflects that cost. Sometimes, people forget that trees are the same way. Some of these benefits are intangible, but many can be measured in dollars, especially the environmental ones. The most common way to calculate a tree's replacement cost is by measuring its trunk, then factoring in other variables like location, condition, and species. The average replacement value of a tree in Santa Monica is $4,233 before we even consider its benefits. For instance, trees can increase property value from 3 to 5 percent, generating more property tax for the community. Trees act as powerful eliminators of air pollution. They also save energy by naturally cooling and heating the climate around them. Trees reduce stormwater runoff and erosion management costs by intercepting, storing, and using rainfall. And store carbon so that less goes into the atmosphere, thereby reducing climate change impacts. And like most good investments, the more you put in, the more benefits you'll see. The city council is a huge supporter of our program, of the urban forestry program. They're very green, they're very progressive when it comes to new methods and new techniques. They have recognized the need for an aggressive tree maintenance program for the overall health of our canopy and urban forest. They have tripled or quadrupled our annual budget in the last 10 years. The building official, the public works inspectors, the street maintenance superintendents are all aware of how important the urban forest is, that it's sustainable, that it is progressive, that it's something for the betterment of the environment. And as we learn more about the forest and we need funds, to implement a new program, and if there's a way that they can support that, they do. And we're at the intersection of 24th and Georgina. Behind me, we have ficus trees. Looking to my north and south, we have Canary Island pine trees. These trees really provide a lot of important environmental benefits. Here we have a tree that's only been in the ground for about seven to 10 years, but it's already working for the public. Grab a hold of some of the leaves and rub your hand on it, and you'll see all the dirt and soot that comes off the leaves. That's the particulate matter that the tree is absorbing out of the air, and it's being collected on the foliage. It's not going in your lungs, or and it's not going in your house, or anywhere else. That's probably two or three air purifiers that you'd have to buy for your house. What people don't realize all the time is that a street tree or a tree on your property is actually going to benefit you directly. People that have trees on the south side of their homes are going to get the shade throughout the day and not have to use air conditioning in the summertime. When we get rainfall, the canopies will hold anywhere from 1,000 to two to 3,000 gallons of water, and then that water drips slowly to the ground, and the ground is able to absorb that moisture, and it reduces the amount of surface runoff. The pollution of the bay has been significantly reduced. We're now getting A-quality ratings. So these are some of the palms that I was gonna point out. So we've got a really nice one there. Any community that invests in trees is gonna see that kind of return on that investment. For every dollar that the city spends on its tree maintenance program, we get a dollar 62 in benefits, and all those benefits increase in time as the tree gets larger, it actually works harder for us. The larger the tree gets, the more environmental benefits it's gonna provide. We have over 33,800 trees in the city of Santa Monica. Ficus microcarpa, Quercus suber, Serotonia siliqua, Phoenix canariensis, Calicedrus decurrens, Ficus macrophylla, or Morty the fig. 
urban forestry's build communities. It could start out as early on as a, a tree planting project. When you get the public involved and you get the community involved and you start planting trees, they start to take ownership of their neighborhood.